The Perure is the most extraordinary suite of jewellery. When I came here, I didn't know anything about it. It was absolutely beyond anything I'd ever seen before. I love it, actually. I've never worn it. Maybe one day, if I play my cards right, I'll be allowed to. <laughs> the world's greatest collectors are not only defined by great wealth. Sotheby's takes you inside Chatsworth House, the ancestral home of the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. Discover the passion that has driven 16 generations of the Cavendish family to create one of the world's most extraordinary art collections. Jewelry is a very personal thing. It's a much more intimate way of collecting, and the Perure is extraordinary. The Perure, which is seven different pieces of jewelry, was commissioned by the sixth duke, the Victorian duke, to be worn by his niece, who was his female accompaniment, when he went as ambassador to Tsar Nicholas II's great coronation in Moscow. The idea it was to take these ancient gems and put them together into something extraordinary. Jewelry was a way of showing how wealthy you were. It was a wonderful excuse to sort of show off. I think the Brits were trying to keep up with the Russians, I'm sure not all that successfully, but um, that was the idea. It's an extraordinary group of different pieces that can be worn separately or all together. There's different kinds of tiaras, and there's a stomacher and different bracelets. Did they really wear stomachers? I suppose they must have done, but quite difficult to wear. It's not really a wearable ensemble. You'd have to stand absolutely straight. You couldn't possibly sit down if you were wearing it. It's deeply impractical. I can only believe when it was worn at the coronation, it was worn for the arrival, and then somebody took it away. What I love about it is the fact that it's 19th century settings, but it actually incorporated things that were already in the collection. So it was taking something acquired by a previous member of the family and then one of their ancestors deciding they were going to make this incredible suite of jewellery out of it. We're terribly lucky to have the jewellery that we do have in the collection because usually the jewellery was left to daughters and then they left it to their daughters and it got further and further away. So there's not very much jewellery uh, which has been passed down for generations, except the Perriol, it's sort of become a Chatsworth thing. Jewellery is a very personal thing. If you've given a piece by somebody, it means an awful lot to you. When my mother died, she left me some money in her will um, saying, don't spend it on just anything, spend it on jewellery. So I thought it would be nice to make a collection of jewellery. I've bought some pieces made by Andrew Grima. I admire enormously his work. That's one you're wearing, isn't it? Yes. He was in his office one day and his daughter came in and she was drinking with a straw and she took the straw and tied it in a knot and he looked at it and thought, well, that's interesting design. Commissioning a piece means a lot to me. I think it's exciting. You need to be very particular about who you want to commission it from, explaining what you want. And then once you've agreed it, then you must let it go. And if you choose the right person, they usually get it right. What we've collected is for Chatsworth. It's what we like and what we enjoy while we're here, but then it'll be passed on to the next generation. Mm -hmm.